Today, we're going to explore how does PedalMD work. Once connected, the first page you will see is the dashboard. This page exists to give you an overview of your account at a glance. In said dashboard, you will find how many new messages you have received since your last connection, the number of pending change requests that are available to you, today's schedule, as well as a quick access to the hospital's on-call list. You can visit your personal dashboard at any time by clicking on the Pedal MD logo located in the upper left corner of your screen. Underneath said logo, you will find the next tab on our virtual tour, the calendars. It is important to keep in mind that you have access to two types of calendars. The first is your personal calendar, which includes all the tasks, events, and absences that concern you. Whilst the second, however, consists of the group schedules for each of your departmental groups. Let's start with your personal calendar. Here, the personal events and meetings you will create always appear in green, whereas your absences will appear in purple. Your tasks and shifts, on the other hand, will appear using the color that has been assigned to the group from which they stem. To assign the color of a group, simply click on the display button on the upper right of the calendar and make your choice. This is also where you can filter what you see inside of your calendar, as well as the day with which you would like to start the week. In case you wish to access even further information about a task, absence, or event, simply click on the corresponding palette. This will bring up a side panel with more details. For those of you that have opted for the standard and advanced price plans, the task panel will also allow you to initiate a transfer of the selected task to another physician. You can even request a specific task in exchange for yours if that is your preference. Similarly, there is also a marketplace in standard and advanced packages where you can post a shift that you would like to give away. In order to do this, simply add this task to the bulletin board and one of your eligible colleagues will be able to pick it up for you or offer you one of their shifts in exchange. To transfer, exchange, or post a shift to the marketplace, simply select the desired action as well as the recipient. You can then specify the desired task in exchange or add a comment at your leisure. Lastly, send the request by clicking on the send button. Another important side note for those who enjoy standard or advanced plans, you can actually synchronize your calendar with an external calendar such as iCal, Google Calendar, Outlook, and more. Simply click on the synchronization button located in the upper right corner and follow the steps specific to the calendar you are using. Now that we've gone through your new personal calendar, you can head over to the left of your calendar to select a group schedule instead. Here you can view the schedule of your department by tasks, by members, or consult the full monthly calendar of your colleagues under the monthly view. It should be noted that PedalMD is also available in iOS and Android applications that you can download from Google Play or the Apple Store. This way, you will have access to all the features from both your calendars within the palm of your hand. Next, we drop down one tab to visit another feature that is accessible through the mobile application, our secure messaging. As the name suggests, our messaging feature is encrypted and secure. We follow the standards of both EPA and GDPR so that you can share sensitive information to your colleagues with peace of mind. Inside the messaging tab, you can send messages to a specific colleague, to all your colleagues in a group at once, or to any other combination of your contacts. To do this, simply click on New Messages. As you can see here, you can indicate that the message is urgent and even request a red receipt by activating these options at the top. Next, start writing the name of your recipient in the appropriate box and a list of your contacts will be displayed accordingly. Simply click on his or her name once it appears. In addition, it is also possible for you to send your message to an entire group or a distribution list using the corresponding options that appear under the recipient's field. Finally, type up your message give it a subject, and attach a file if necessary before clicking Send. To create a distribution list, however, you must visit the next page in our virtual tour, the Contacts. Dropping down one icon further from the left side panel is the Contact section. This page contains the contact information for all of the members belonging to the same groups as yourself. The first page of this section includes the complete list of your contacts. You can view these contacts at one group or one distribution list at a time. 
This being said, to create a new distribution list, start by clicking on the plus icon provided for this purpose. Continue by giving a name to your list and insert the desired members. This can be done either individually or group by group. When selecting groups, however, you can actually limit the members to include by using their account type specifically, so doctors, assistant, residents, etc. This small function's purpose is to make it easy to maintain your distribution lists when new members are added into your group. Since the list does not select individuals specifically, any member with the correct account type will be included into the list as he or she is entered into the group. Lastly, don't forget to specify where the answers will go when you are using this list. Should the responses to your messages be shared to all recipients or sent to you privately? Speaking of sharing, you can also share your distribution lists with other members so that they can use them as well. However, if it's documents and files you're looking to share, you don't need to constantly attach them to emails since we've already planned for a simpler solution, the Documents section. Going back to the tabs on the left side panel, the Documents tab allows you and your group to store various files and documents that are accessible to all staff members owning a PetalMD account for the same group. Mind you, not all accounts will necessarily be able to add and manage documents. This is at the discretion of the group planner. However, even if you cannot add a document, you'll always be able to view them. Following the Documents tab, we arrive to the one giving access to Petal On Call, also called the Hospital Dashboard. As stated previously, Petal On Call is a layout that centralizes all of the on call shifts for every department under one single view that constantly evolves in real time. This means that when you're in need of the specialist on call, you can quickly and easily browse the list to find out his or her contact information and offer your patients the assistance they need without delay. You can write them a message via PetalMD, or if you are on your mobile device, simply click on the on-screen phone number to dial directly. The next two tabs may not be enabled for your account, but for your information, please note that the scheduling tab is limited to group planners and administrative staff only. You can access this tab once given the necessary management permissions. The Booking tab, on the other hand, is the online appointment booking interface designed by PetalMD to minimize patient wait times. Our team of consultants remains available if you have any questions regarding the online appointment booking interface. This being said, let's continue further with the icons below, Notifications, and Profile. The small bell visible as the third icon from the bottom allows you to access the list of notifications that have not yet been processed. These notifications are separated into two sections, Action Required and Activity. The first contains notifications that require some sort of action on your part, such as respond to a task swap request, event invitation, or an unread message. The second is informative. It contains a record of events that have occurred since your last login, but for which you have no action to take. Examples of these include task transfers or manual change to your schedule by the planner. You can also manage what notifications you receive outside of the website but I'll show you this in a few moments. Next is the profile. In the first tab of the profile, you can edit your personal information. This includes your name, account type, preferred language, email address, password, and even your city and or region. Below, you will see the section dedicated to phone numbers. At PetalMD, we understand that contact information is very important inside the field of healthcare. And so for that reason, we've prepared an interface that allows you to not only insert the phone numbers you can be reached at, but also choose which ones are visible, from where they are visible, as well as the order in which one should call each number. If a number is accessible from the hospital on-call list, you can even add a comment if necessary. Once done, simply click on Save. This leads us to the second tab of your profile, where you can manage your notifications. Notifications come through either your mobile application your email address, or both. So simply check or uncheck the notifications you want or do not want to receive. There is no need to save once the correct boxes have been checked. Finally, if you have any questions or to view more documentation, you can access our Help Center at any time via the question mark button in the lower right corner. Inside of the Help Center, you can write your question directly inside of the search bar, browse our articles about general functions, or contact the support team directly by clicking on the Submit a Request button. And lastly, 
The icon in the lower left corner can be used to log out of your Pedal MD account, which is very important if you are using a shared workspace. This completes our demonstration for your new interface. For more information on our complimentary features, please contact us at info at pedalmd.com or by phone at 1-888-949-8601, extension 2.